All right, welcome back. All right, so my name is Luis Cervantes. I'm currently a junior at Portland State University, majoring in computer science, but enough about me. Let's get started on this. So today we're gonna be doing control. I feel like control is probably one of the most important lectures because it's super powerful. Like, like, it's super powerful. There's, you're gonna use it a lot. So pay a lot of attention to this, okay? So let's get first into the first function. So the first function is wait for one second. So f what wait for one second does, so what it does, is essentially it like, it pauses for that amount of seconds. For example, you know, you're like, okay, your robot's like goes, 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 and you want, you make it stop, and then you're like, okay, I want it to wait a bit for it to get the actual proper value until it goes on. So that's what it would do, you know? For example, you're like, okay, I want to wait for five seconds, that's what it's gonna do. And then for example, you could be like, wait until, so the wait until you would use one of the operators, for example, you know, like wait until like, I don't know, like 10 is less than 100, you know, which would always be true. So it would always go off, you know? So all of that, remember operators, where you go see the lecture if you haven't seen it. And let's go back to controls. All right, so next we have repeat 10. So what this is gonna do is that, for example, if I were to put this block of code in here, what that's gonna do is gonna repeat that same block of code 10 times, 10 times, you know? Instead of putting, instead of stacking this one, two, three, you know, I'm putting it 10 times, like why do that, you know? Like, you know, we're programmers, you know? Let's be lazy, <laughs> you know? Like if we could do it, let's do it. Let's do it in just a small, small chunk of code. You know, no no need to duplicate code. You know, when you can just use it once. Okay, and then we have forever. So forever is exactly what it sounds like. It would go forever. Like this would just run and run and run and run and run and run and run. There's nothing stopping it because I want it to go on forever and ever and ever. So then, and we move on, we go to repeat until. So it would go like repeat until this is false, this is true, you know? So like, as well, again, operators. This is like repeat until blah, 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 and 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 are still true or false, you know? So that's what it really is. It's all operators right here. So, you know, that's what matters. And then then until it's false, then it's not going to do it anymore. You know, it's, it's pretty simple, you know? And then we have if, for example, again, the operators, we would use like if this is true, then do this and then move on with the rest of the code if it's not true then never i don't even want you to go in there you know it's like for example okay let's suppose let's suppose you have a sensor it's like if sensor is greater than 10 then i want you to go to the right either just continue with the flow of the program and that's exactly what it is you know so the if it's like okay if this is true then i want you to do this if not just keep on moving like you didn't even see it you know so that's all it really is to that. So this is really powerful because, you know, obviously the robots, it has to make decisions at times in the obstacle courses. So it makes sense to be able to have this, to be able to manipulate the flow of your program, you know? So you could be like, okay, I want to do this if this is true. If not, just continue with your life. Let's move on. Now, if then, else, this one gives you way more option. You'd be like, if this is true, if this operator is true, then I want you to do this. If it's not, then I want you to do this. You know, and then after that, it's just going to continue with the flow of the program. So this is really important, really important, you know, because like, like this could be times you're like, okay, if the sensor value is greater than 10, I want you to go to the right, else I want you to turn to the left, you know? So, and that's all it pretty much is. So it's kind of like, like if this is true, yes. If it's not, then do this other thing, you know? So... And this is, this is gonna come to really good use when you guys start making really large programs. So I would really encourage that you guys get used to this because it's really powerful. Really powerful and really helpful. And then we have stop all stacks. So what does this do? It's just gonna stop the stacks. You know, it's just gonna stop them, not, nothing new. Then stop all the stacks, you know, so it's gonna stop the others as well, not just that. And then stop all and exit program. So what this is gonna do is that it's just gonna exit the program and you as well have the option to to this stack or all stacks, you know? So you have that option. It's it's gonna be really fun and then you're gonna like it, you know? So that's all pretty much control is, is to be able to control the flow of the program. 
that's all this really is to be able to control the flow of the program so because robots don't think by themselves robots don't make decisions unless you tell them what decisions to make you know and that's really useful but that's pretty much it for the controls i hope that this video was really useful and i hope that you guys learned something new and as well as remember that if you guys want to see a live demo of me using the controls and showing you guys how it's used with the operators and everything remember to go look at the link and it's going to be really fun i hope you guys enjoyed it and you guys learned something <laughs>